before we start today's topic is herpes viral. Now, uh, herpes is what type? Aste. What type of virus is herpes virus? Is it DNA virus or RNA virus? DNA virus. Name few more DNA virus. This is one type of DNA virus. Name few more DNA virus. What are other DNA viruses you know? Other DNA viruses? There is a mnemonic for knowing the DNA virus. All the DNA virus are 3P, 2H, and AB. 3P is pox virus, carbovirus, papoma virus. 2H, one is herpes virus. And hepatitis. Which hepatitis virus is DNA virus? All other hepatitis are RNA virus. Only one hepatitis is DNA virus. Which is that? Yes, hepatitis B is the only DNA virus, and AB is adenovirus and bacteriophage. So these are whole. All other viruses are RNA viruses. Now tell me which is the largest virus you know and which is the smallest virus in virology. Those are all DNA virus, pox virus is the largest virus and parvo is the smallest. Now, whether DNA virus is a single stranded or double stranded, all DNA viruses are usually double stranded except parvo, that is single stranded DNA virus. Now, herpes virus may present as exanthem. What is an exanthem? Exanthem is an eruption or rash on the skin. Many, majority of the exanthems are of infectious etiology and most commonly by viruses. Now, herpes virus. What are the herpes virus? Common herpes viruses are herpes simplex, varicella zoster virus. Epstein Barr virus, HHB, human herpes virus, see? These are other DNA viruses. These are RNA viruses, herpes virus infections. Herpes simplex, type 1 and type 2. These are the most common herpes virus infection. Herpes simplex, type 1 and type 2. How will you remember any infection above the waist is usually due to herpes simplex 1 and any infection below the waist is usually due to herpes simplex 2. There is one victim, they commonly involve skin, mouth, lips, eyes, genitals, they can cause encephalitis, they can cause meningitis, they can cause neonatal herpes, there may be disseminated infection if their patients are immunocompromised. So, mucocutaneous infections are usually clusters of small painful vesicles. Diagnosis is usually clinical, laboratory confirmation by PCR, by culture, direct immunofluorescence, serological testing. Treatment is usually symptomatic, few cases may require Acyclovir like antiviral therapy. This is one example of herpes infection. This is herpes labialis. What is the general morphology? So it is a 
double stranded dna virus herpes is double stranded dna virus and usually capsulated so this is large usually 150 to 200 nanometer in size nucleocapsid is this this is icosahedral symmetry the nucleocapsid is like icosahedral can anybody tell what is icosahedral it is a geometric shape which has about 20 faces so this nucleocapsid is icosahedral and there is this is a one of the capsulated and linear double stranded dna surrounded by capsid envelope nucleocapsid surrounded by a lipid envelope in which glycoprotein spikes are inserted between the capsid and envelope there are tegument which are tegument so these are tegument part these are tegument tegumens is, are what is the tegument that is and between capsid and the envelope there are amorphous asymmetric structure called tegument how the virus is replicated it is a host cell nucleus similar to replication of other dna virus so replication is in the nucleus linear ds dna of herpes virus become circular inside the host cell so remember the mechanism of replication if mcq come or a single word that is a rolling circle mechanism already you have read the uh, or replication of virus in the introductory class. So, rolling circle mechanism. Herpes virus entry mediator and the nectin protein are herpes binding site on the host cell surface. Nectin 1 is specifically important for HSB into nervous system. You must remember any organism or any bacteria or virus when entering in our body must have some receptor in our cell so that they can first attach with receptor then this can be introduced in our body here nectin 1 is the important for herpes virus entry into the nervous system now before i go to this table the herpes virus can be divided into three according to the biological property so one is Alpha, one is beta and one is gamma. How it is divided? It is replication is also fast. So this is fast replication. And in both these, they are slow replication. Second part, so what are the alpha viruses? What are the alpha viruses? Alpha herpes viruses which have fast replication and beta and gamma. First is herpes simplex virus 1, HSV 2 and viral varicella zoster virus. These are alpha viruses. These are alpha viruses. What are the beta viruses? Cytomegalovirus, human herpes virus 6 and human herpes virus 7. What is gamma? Human herpes virus 7 and human herpes virus 8 and Epstein Barr virus. Now another point, the latency. These herpes virus is another character. They are sometimes latent in our body. After infection, they may be kept latent for many years and then they show the manifestation. So, where is the latency? In alpha virus, latency usually takes place in the neurons. It is in the neuron. Here, latency, cytomegalovirus, latency in the salivary gland. And HHB 6 and 7 are in the T cell. And latency of Epstein Barr virus, and these are B cell or B lymphocytes. 
So the latency in this is neuron six and seven in the T cell. Cytomegalovirus latency in the salivary glands and <coughs> seven eight and Epstein Barr virus latency in the B cell. So this is the major basic specifications of the herpes virus here. The table herpes virus alpha, there is 12 to 18 hours for cytolytic activity. Their latency in the neuron, herpes simplex virus 1, 2 and varicella virus. Beta, the cyto replication and cytomegalic effect more than 24 hours. Lymphoproliferative is also the cytopathic effect are more than 24 hours. Beta, they are in the salivary gland and kidney and in the lymphoid tissue. Basically T cells, human herpes virus 5 is cytomegalovirus is usually human herpes virus 5. Gamma, variable lymphoproliferative, it is usually in the B cells, human herpes virus 7, 8 and Kaposi is sarcoma associated herpes virus. Now what are the infections? Herpes simplex virus. There are two herpes simplex virus. One is herpes simplex 1 and one is herpes simplex 2. What are the common infections? What are the most important infections you should know? One is encephalitis, herpes encephalitis. You will commonly encounter some recurrent herpes labialis. You can see the blister around the lips, herpes labialis. And the herpes simplex 2 is commonly with genital herpes. So, they belong to alpha subfamily, extremely widespread, they replicate very fast, 12 to 18 hour cycle, spread fast and are cytolytic. So, these are the first, why they are alpha? They replicate very fast within 12 to 18 hours. Spectrum of disease, skin, mucosa and various organs. Latency in the neuron or nerve cell, they may cause recurrent lesion. Most common is mucocutaneous infection, genital herpes, herpes keratitis, CNS infection, neonatal herpes may rarely cause permanent hepatitis. In patient with HIV infection, herpetic infection can be particularly severe, progressive and persistent esophagitis colitis. So always there is a co-infection when Patient is already infected with HIV. They are immunocompromised. T cells are already decreased. So, their HIV infection, patient may present with severe esophagitis, perianal ulcer, pneumonia, encephalitis, and meningitis. HSB outbreak may be followed by erythema multiforme. Have you heard the name of erythema multiforme previously? What is the clinical feature? What is the typical rash of erythema multiforme? You read this is a target type of lesion is erythema multiforme target lesions. So eczema herpeticum is a complication of HSB with severe herpetic disease. Now this is the difference between HSB 1 and HSB 2. First point I initially mentioned HSB 1 usually infects any organ above the waist, HSB2 usually infects any organ below the waist. So, common modes of transmission, HSB1 is direct contact, but HSB2 is sexual mode of transmission. Latency in trigeminal nerve. So, it usually in herpes simplex virus 1 is latent in the fifth cranial nerve or trigeminal nerve. Commonly in the ophthalmic division is Sacral region, sacral ganglia is the latency in this herpes simplex virus 2. Age affected usually young children, herpes simplex 2, young adults. What are the common manifestations? Oral facial mucosal lesion, they may present as encephalitis or meningitis, they may present as ocular lesion and skin lesion. And in case of herpes simplex 2, genital lesion. <coughs> Sorry, skin lesion below the waist and neonatal herpes. 
With infected saliva or direct skin contact, that is the mode of transmission of HSV one. HSV two, sexual contact or really vertical move. That means mother to fetus. If mother is infected with HSV two, there can be neonatal herpes infection. HSV replicates at the local site, produces lesion commonly. HSV one lesions are usually confined. Areas above the waist, most common site is around the mouth. HSV two produces lesion below the waist. Now how it spread? Virus then invades the local nerve ending and transported by retrograde axonal flow to dorsal root ganglia. So this part should be remembered: the retrograde axonal flow. So. After it involves through the skin infection, that is involves the retrograde axonal flow to dorsal root ganglia and undergoes latency. Latency in the dorsal root ganglia. Primary herpes simplex virus infections are usually asymptomatic, that is mild, but in immunocompromised host, viremia occurs that lead to widespread organ involvement. Again, latency. I am telling this frequently because latency is maybe up HSV one in trigeminal ganglia and HSV two latency is sacral ganglia. And HSV does not replicate in the latent stage. How the reactivation occurs? It is latent for long. How the reactivation occurs? Reactivation can occur by fever. Any axonal injury, physical or emotional stress, exposure to ultraviolet light. So these are activating factor, reactivating factor for the latent virus. Via axonal stress, virus goes back to the peripheral site and further replicates in skin or mucosa. Recurrent infection are less extensive and less severe because presence of pre-existing host immunity. Many recurrences are asymptomatic. Virus HSV one and two nearly all mucocutaneous site. HSV two causes genital infection and intrauterine. What is the incubation period? Is usually one to twenty six days. Orofacial mucosal lesion. Most common affected area is. Buccal mucosa. Most primary lesion is gingivostomatitis and pharyngitis. Most frequent recurrent lesion is herpes labialis. That is painful vesicle near lips, herpes labialis. That is the orofacial mucosal lesion. So sometimes you see when a patient suffering from fever later develops herpes labialis. That means herpes is latent in their body. Fever was a reactivating factor. As fever, after fever, they are having herpes labialis. Other lesion, ulcerative stomatitis and tonsillitis may occur, and all are asymptomatic, but when they suffer from secondary bacterial infection. Vesicular lesion on the lips and tongue. Very ocular lesion showing HSV one infection. This is around the eye. As I told, the, it is latent in trigeminal nerve, and trigeminal nerve usually have three divisions, and it is the involvement of the oct 
ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. So when it is an ocular lesion, usually ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve is involved. Other cutaneous lesion, herpetic vitlo, febrile blister, herpes gladiotoderm, eczema herpeticum, erythema multiform. CNS infection, ocular manifestation, genital lesion, and neonatal herpes. I am coming one by one. Herpes encephalitis. What is called? It is called a sporadic encephalitis. So, what is the commonest organism for sporadic encephalitis? Is herpes simplex. What is the common infection for some epidemic, acute encephalitic syndrome? This is sporadic encephalitis. So, sporadic encephalitis commonest is herpes simplex, HSV. So, it is a sporadic encephalitis. Remember this term, this is sporadic encephalitis, common is HSV1. Now, when it is acute encephalitic syndrome, this is not an DNA virus. What is the commonest agent in West Bengal or India? If acute encephalitic syndrome, epidemic like epidemic spread, it is not sporadic. What is the commonest organism? Even in this area? local area. So, when you are asked about acute encephalitis syndrome, J Japanese encephalitis is the organism you must describe. So, the question if it is a sporadic encephalitis, diagnosis is towards herpes simplex virus. If it is acute encephalitis syndrome, epidemic like episode, then JE, you should write the diagnosis in JE. You may give it in the differential diagnosis. So, herpes encephalitis usually occurs sporadic, multiple early seizures are characteristic. So, what is the clinical feature of herpes encephalitis? There is usually convulsion, convulsion in the initial stage. Viral meningitis is, may result from HSV2, lumbosacral myeloradiculitis, HSV2 can primary infection or reactivation of Viral meningitis, you also moderate meningitis. So, this is another term for viral meningitis caused by herpes virus. This is moderate meningitis. So, 30% of the herpes simplex inflammatory is due to primary infection. But Remainder 70% by reactivation. Root thought to enter from the brain by initial peripheral site. The site of how they reached. It is usually initially cutaneous infection. How it has reached the brain. You should know the pathogenesis. How the heart is simplex viral from the cutaneous lesion or from the lesions how it reached. Site of primary oropharyngeal infection to the brain via the trigeminal or olfactory nerve. The neuronal pathway from the reactivation of the initial peripheral infection. And the last mechanism was reactivation of the latent HSV in situ in the brain. So, what are the three methods of spread from the cutaneous herpes simplex virus? Reaching from cutaneous infection or herpes labialis to encephalitis. There are three routes of probable, three routes of spread. One is the site of primary oropharyngeal infection to the brain directly through either olfactory nerve or the trigeminal nerve. The same neuronal pathways, reactivation of the initial peripheral infection. And third is herpes simplex virus is latent in the brain itself. Though trigeminal nerve is the commonest site, but herpes simplex virus probably was latent in the brain. So these are the three routes of spread. Now, neuronal cell destruction by direct injury and cell injury due to overactivated immune system. So, what is the commonest lobe that is affected by herpes simplex encephalitis? It is a temporal lobe that is the commonest site of herpes infection 
affects the temporal lobe and adjacent limbic system. Meningeal congestion is frequently observed. Brain involvement is more diffuse. In adult, the temporal lobe is the commonest site, but in new, neonatal heartbeat, brain involvement may be diffuse. People taking certain anti uh, immunosuppressive drugs like natalizumab or alentizumab or anti inflammatory agents like TNF alpha inhibitor are also found to have increased susceptibility to HSV1 infection. Cases of heart disease simplex has been reported after whole brain irradiation. So, after radiotherapy, if we, after cranial radiotherapy, there may be a chance of HSV infection. What is the annual incidence? 2 to 4 per million. 70% patients die without any treatment. Mortality is 20 to 30% in case of herpes virus. 20 to 50% encephalitis cases result from viral infection. Keratitis. When it involves the eye, what is the type of keratitis? It usually involves the cornea, foreign body sensation, lacrimation, and congenital hypernia. There are common corneal hypoesthesia ulceration. Now, what is the characteristic ulcer? What is the characteristic ulcer of herpes keratitis? It is called dendritic ulcer. Remember the term herpes simplex keratitis. The ulcer is called dendritic ulcer and sometimes it is Topical and systemic antiviral drugs are required. So, this is a picture of dendritic ulcer. How the picture is taken? It is taken by using the fluorescent staining. The fluorescent staining is the green color and the dendrite is also stained by rose bengal. So, this is a picture of herpes simplex keratitis. So, it is fluorescent staining, that is fluorescent angiography was done and this shows the dendritic ulcer, this is the herpes keratitis. The initial infection is usually non-specific, without any corneal involvement. If the cornea is involved, symptom will be like foreign body sensation in the eye, there may be photophobia, Sometimes vesicular vaporitis is also there. Now, these are the three clinical types of herpetic keratitis. One is epithelial keratitis, one is disciform keratitis and stromal keratitis. Now, reactivation as you know, it is uh, latent in ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. So, how reactivation can occur? Reactivation usually occurs due to UV light exposure. What is UV light? Intense sunlight can cause UV light like action through corneal cross linking and laser refractive procedure. Fever, menstruation. So these are reactivating factors. These are reactivating factors. UV light exposure, fever, systemic physical stress. Now genital herpes. What is genital herpes? Sexually transmitted infection may be caused by HSV1, but more common HSV2. HSV2 affected more than 400 million people aged 15 to 49 years. Prevalence of HSB2 is higher in women, that is 2 is to 1. So HSB2 is high in women compared with men and most cases of genital herpes are caused by HSB2. But the proportion of cases due to HSB1 in the same WHO report in last two, three, two to three years have shown the genital herpes due to herpes simplex virus 1 also. If you are asked what is the commonest organism for herpes HSV2, you mention HSV2 but also mention the genital herpes is also being caused by HSV1. Incubation period, 
primary is four to seven days. Vesicles usually erode to form ulcers. On the pupils, glans penis and penile shaft in labia, clitoris and perineum and cervix in omen. Around the anus or rectum in men and omen. So this is a Another point, what is the difference between the herpes simplex virus? Usually there are multiple vesicles. So there is multiple ulcer or multiple vesicles and they are small and they are recurrent. So what is the characteristic feature when you are in an STD clinic or in a skin OPD? When you can suspect it is due to the herpes simplex virus, the ulcers or the blisters or the vesicles are small and multiple. Neonatal herpes simplex virus. They develop in neonates whose mothers may have no suggestion for herpetic infection. Most commonly transmitted during childbirth due to contact with vaginal secretions. <coughs> develop between first and fourth week of life, causing mucocutaneous vesicles and CNS involvement. So, neonatal HSB, there are two types of infection. One is due to this mucocutaneous infection, another is encephalitis or meningitis. Efforts to prevent, how you can prevent neonatal transmission? Neonatal transmission of HSB, how you can prevent the HSB transmission? First is pregnant woman should be asked about the history of any genital herpes. So history, if has herpes symptom, active genital lesion, if women have herpes symptoms like active genital lesion when labor begins, caesarean delivery is recommended. For if it is caesarean delivery, chance of transmission is less. Who develop genital herpes during pregnancy, you should start acyclovir at 36 weeks. So starting acyclovir at 36 weeks of gestation reduce the risk of the neonatal and caesarean delivery. So there are three points how you can prevent the neonatal herpes. First, take the history, whether the patient having any history of genital herpes. Second, if it is genital herpes, is there, go for caesarean section and third point, start prophylactic acyclovir from the 36th week. So these are the three points in preventing herpes simplex virus neonatal hepatitis, a neonatal infection. Worldwide distribution, no animal reservoir, so it is only confined to human beings. So herpes simplex virus, there is no animal reservoir. HSB1 again, infected secretions, already I have covered. Now how will you diagnose? What is the lab diagnosis of herpes simplex virus? What is the difference between cytopathic effect and inclusion body? We have already class on general virology. Cytopathic effect, where you can observe cytopathic effect and where you can get inclusion body. Cytopathic effect is usually seen in, in vitro. I am not going to all cytopathic effect, but in vitro cytopathic effect is there and inclusion body is in the in vivo. In vivo means living cell and this is in the cell line. This is in the human cell or human body. So, cytopathic effect, when you mention cytopathic effect, is usually in the cell line where you culture the virus and inclusion body is there in your body. So, that is the main difference. Cytopathology, jank smear from any blister or any lesion, you can go for jank smear that can be stained by rice or ginger stain. 
detects the inclusion body lips full body of the multinucleated giant cell so these are two things you should remember lips full body what is lips full body it is cowdery type a cowdery type a inclusion body is lips full body so this inclusion body is in our cell and giant smear can show multinucleated giant cell and also the lips full body that is the inclusion body conventional cell line now what is the cytopathic effect of herpes cytopathic effect of herpes when it is grown on cell line cytopathic effect are cytopathic effect are one is ballooning of the cell line ballooning and diffuse vacuolation diffuse vacuolation so these are the two cytopathic effect of herpes virus herpes virus two cytopathic effect on the cell line one is ballooning of the cell and second is diffuse vacuolation in the cell these are the cytopathic effect viral antigen can be detected by direct immunofluorescence and hsb dna by pcr and real time pcr detecting glycoprotein b and ul30 genes so what is difference between uh, real time pcr and non real time very normal pcr can anybody tell what is the difference between what is the advantage of real time pcr what is the principle of real time pcr whenever you read virology real time pcr will come again and again so what are the special advantage initially it was pcr real time pcr came later so what is the advantage or what are the advantage of real time pcr real time pcr advantages or conventional pcr and real time pcr what are the two difference of conventional pcr and real time pcr first point you remember when we were doing the covid we were doing real time pcr if it is not real conventional pcr we have to put it on gel and again see and two point real time pcr when any quantification is required quantitative when you are monitoring the treatment of hiv or hepatitis b or hepatitis c virus you need to quantify the number of viral body viral particle is there so real time pcr can only give the quantified quantification value quantified value can be done by only real time pcr so antibody detection by elisa antibodies to glycoprotein g what is the treatment acyclovir is the drug of choice other drugs are pancyclovir or valacyclovir or vancyclovir in ocular infection idoxyrudin diflurothymidin or topical viradamine may be used in hsv encephalitis and neonatal herpes acyclovir is the treatment of choice in case where there is acyclovir resistance few very few acyclovir resistant has been Foscarnate is a drug of choice in case of acyclovir resistant cases. So very very few cases of acyclovir resistant. If you get an acyclovir resistant, foscarnate is a drug of choice. So prevention use of condom neonatal herpes by prevented. I already told how to prevent neonatal herpes. No vaccine is licensed yet. There is no vaccine for herpes. varicella zoster virus what is the two common infection for varicella zoster before we start in a short varicella zoster virus what are the two common infection caused by varicella zoster virus how many of you have been affected by chicken pox 
or all of you have taken vaccine for chicken pox so there are two infection for varicella zoster virus one is chicken pox another is herpes zoster so chicken pox is caused by varicella zoster virus chicken pox and zoster or spindles enter through upper respiratory tract it mononuclear cell is the target site skin produces rashes in respiratory tract shed in the respiratory secretion and neurons undergo latency incubation period is 10 to 21 days now can anybody tell many of you may see the patient of chicken pox when the chicken pox patient should need isolation all a different idea you will see chicken pox cases in your life and you need to advise how long the isolation should be there anybody isolation of chicken pox all heart is booster also what is the isolation period any idea chicken pox what do you advise to the patient this is the common you can your relative may suffer from chicken pox you need to tell how long they should be isolated anybody having any idea chicken pox isolation it is should be two days prior to you cannot know but two days prior to rash prior to rash two days and five days after starting of rash and or crusting or crusting when crusting start <laughs> at least remember this part because it will be required in your day to day life or in your opd or with your relative the isolation of chicken pox it should be you don't know before rash so it is 2 days before the rash and 5 days after the rash or crusting usually what is the common people say when they crusting occurs they say patient has become infected but no on starting of the casting patient becomes non infected that is a wrong idea in the common people that when casting occurs patient becomes infected but it was infected before that when casting becomes be, begins the patient becomes non infected so rashes are you remember the rash of chicken pox rashes are vesicular they are centripetal in distribution bilateral and diffuse fever appears with each crop of rashes most common infection secondary bacterial infection most common is cns involvement most serious complication is varicella pneumonia rain syndrome chicken pox in pregnancy mothers high risk of developing varicella pneumonia and fetuses high risk of congenital varicella syndrome one attack may give lifelong immunity two days before the rash and five days there after that is the infectivity of the chicken pox secondary attack rate is 70 to 90 percent zoster or single varicella zoster how it present herpes zoster you must have seen what is the distribution of herpes zoster infection it is a part of organ part of body how it how it present how it is presented presentation of it is along a segmental nerve distribution so it is an severe pain usually one or more groups of sensory nerve is unilateral and segmental so it is along a nerve root is usually the zoster or the vesicles come and those are painful most common are there are also ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve head neck and trunk are the most common site post herpetic neuralgia zoster ophthalmicus ramsay hand syndrome 
What are the specimens? Vesicular lesion, jam smear, formation of multinuclear giant cell that is the through jam smear, virus isolation, cytopathic effects like diffuse rounding and ballooning of the infected cell. Remember this name also, Biofire. Biofire is a commercial name. Now, you need to decrease the turnaround time. When the patient is admitted in a high, this sophisticated setup, you cannot wait for blood culture or virus culture to come. You need to treat the patient immediately. So, Biofire, don't remember, this is a commercial name. This is a microarray. Microarray means it is a bi multiplex PCR and nested PCR at the same time biofire is the commercial name can anybody tell what is the turnaround time for biofire turnaround time in blood culture it usually takes 5 to 7 days for reporting in bacterial culture, it will take at least two to three days for reporting. But biofire or the microarray can report in one hour. It can give one hour is the turnaround time. You remember there is meningitis, encephalitis panel. So that can give up to 14 number of panel are there, at least 14 microbial agents viral bacterial given in that array that can give the infection. What it also gives? It also gives the bacterial resistant gene also. So this is a turnaround time is very less. Treatment, acyclovir, pancyclovir and valacyclovir. Now vaccine. I think most of you have taken the chicken pox vaccine. So, this is a live attenuated vaccine given to children after one year of age, two doses. First dose is given at 12 to 15 months and second at 4 to 6 hour, years. So, this is a live attenuated vaccine for OCA strain of virus, Bencilla Joster virus. Transmission of vaccine virus can cause mild rashes. Protectivity is 80% in preventing chickenpox and less in adults. 90%, 95% effective in preventing severe disease. Varicella juster immunoglobulin. When will you give Varicella juster immunoglobulin? It should be given within 96 hours, preferably within 72 hours. Adults with higher risk of varicella related death who are at a greater risk of complication. HIV infected patient and pregnant mother. These are the two most common indications for giving varicella juster immunoglobulin. That it can prevent the infection of the fetus. If you given to pregnant mother, it can prevent infection to the fetus. Also indicated for neonates born to mother suffering from chicken pox. If the onset of chicken pox in mother is between less than 5 days before delivery and till 48 hours. You remember this part, this has come as MCQ previously. So varicella juster immunoglobulin in the neonate. What is the indication for varicella juster immunoglobulin in neonate? One, it should be when the mother is affected just 5 days before the delivery and till 48 hours after delivery because incubation period has already started varicella joster virus has already spread to neonate so you cannot prevent by giving immunoglobulin to mother less than 5 days before delivery and 48 hours after delivery so this is the indication of varicella joster immunoglobulin in neonates kept in isolation Other herpes virus infection, one is Epstein-Barr virus. 
what is the it causes infectious mononucleosis and various malignancy cytomegalovirus causes congenital infection human herpes virus six infects the t cell that is cd46 this is where it has it is causative agent of six disease six disease exanthem subutum or rosiola infantilum six disease is caused by herpes simplex uh, human herpes virus six human herpes virus seven is also for t cell human herpes virus a is causes a malignancy called kaposi's sarcoma in hiv infected so what is the causative agent for kaposi's sarcoma it is human herpes virus 8 or human herpes virus causing kaposi sarcoma now what are the few take home points for herpes virus it is a double stranded dna virus one is double stranded dna virus at least you if you don't remember the whole class at least remember four point one is it is a double stranded dna virus it has a icosahedral capsid it replicates in the nucleus Fourth point, they can be divided in alpha, beta, gamma. Alpha, beta, gamma, alpha, is, and that is by biological property. Alpha is fast, and beta, gamma is slow. In replication, also in causing cytopathic effect. So these are the slow, and <coughs> remember this classification. Then what are the common infection for herpes simplex virus? One herpes simplex virus usually causative agent above the waist. It encephalitis is the commonest, is the most severe infection. Herpes labialis, herpes simplex virus two for herpes genitalis. And what is the diagnostic test? One is Jans smear. And another is PCR. And cytopathic effect and inclusion body. Now you will tell what is the cytopathic effect of herpes. You have the last two points. What is the cytopathic effect on the cell line caused by herpes virus, and what inclusion body it produces. this will be usually asked cytopathic effect is balloning or rounding of the cell in cell line and inclusion body is cowdly a or leaf school body okay do we have any question And another point is the encephalitis is usually sporadic in nature. It is not an epidemic type. It is a sporadic nature of the encephalitis, and the meningitis caused by herpes simplex virus two or one, also called molaret meningitis. Our topic for today is we will be concentrating rather on gastric adenocarcinoma. Okay, so most common type is gastric adenocarcinoma. Ninety to ninety-five percent of malignancies. In the stomach are epithelial tumors. Ninety to ninety-five percent of malignancies in the stomach arises from the epithelium. Which part? Which part? Which cells? Which are called lichen nigrum. Anyway, gastric foveolar cells. It arises from the gastric foveolar cells. So, what are the precursor lesions? What are the precursor lesions? Intestinal metaplasia in stomach. You are seeing intestinal metaplasia. Why? What is intestinal metaplasia? Presence of intestinal epithelium in the gastric 
mucosa converts into uh, intestinal metaplasia into intestinal gastric epithelium converts into intestinal epithelium that is metaplasia so what is metaplasia cell type adult adult you must use the word adult not primitive adult cell type one adult epithelium into another epithelium is metaplasia so some of you are keep by gastric epithelium kintu shekhane je intestinal metaplasia hocche so intestinal epithelium hocche so that is intestinal metaplasia then multifocal mucosal atrophy multifocal mucosal atrophy egulo the pore aschi ami okay so 90 to 95% of malignancies in stomach are epithelial in origin epithelial in origin so that is gastric adenocarcinoma epithelial origin er ki hocche gastric adenocarcinoma right so what are the various etiological factors what are the various etiological factors one is helicobacter pylori h pylori h pylori infection if you see this picture this is this is a stomach you know all the parts of the stomach cardia fundus body etc etc you go down to the pylorus and the antrum so if you look into this picture it clearly shows maximum malignancies occur in the distal part of the stomach maximum malignancies occur in the distal part of the stomach especially the pyloric area and the antral area and to a certain extent along the lesser curvature examiner jigesh korte pare keno why why because this is the site which is infected maximum mostly by h pylori so there is a relation of h pylori your stomach a person's stomach getting infected by helicobacter pylori and subsequently a gastric carcinoma arising from it so distal part of the stomach is into maximum h pylori infection ta hocche and this is the reason why you get maximum malignancies in the distal part of the stomach number 2 comes diet diet ki khele maximum malignancies hote pare if you see uh, so diet that has something to do with geography you see ha huh? kfc ha huh? yeah smoky food kintu directly you can say kfc ami bolchi what is diet to do with geography and to a certain extent genetic factors i mean i'll explain it to you if you see gastric carcinoma they arise in developed countries japan scandinavian countries like finland denmark with all the scandinavian nations the nordic countries basically chile united states eguro chi sob developed countries they are the first world nation japan uh, chile on the first world bolte parbo na jodi chile hoy chile latin america definitely not first world kintu finland finland eguro chi sob first world nations and scandinavian nations are khub pawa jay keno eta tumi jante hobo what is the reason they use canned food what on a preserved food use for preserved food use for so preserved food e ki hoy nitrosamines nitrosamines because of nitrosamines used as a preservative and the nitrates and nit uh, also h uh, uh, helicobacter pylori they convert nitrates and nitrites into nitrosamines that is one reason can food e kintu prochur as preservative e nitrosamines use kora hoy so nitrosamines is a carcinogenic agent ei jonno ami bolchi matha rakhte hobe ei points gulo can food e prochur if you go to those countries if you have visited or if you have seen their lifestyle they use a lot of can food o the hate time thake na so they take the food put it in the refrigerator uh, microwave ota ke lid ta ke khule fale put it in the microwave ota khete khete kaaje chole jay that's how their life is can food ora prochur use kore preservatives prochur thakle ota khabare fresh khabar kintu khuba eta kono paoa jay na ar fresh khabar paba ki koro ekhane to import hocche to sob baire theke developed nation joto gulo ache ekhane toiri hoy na food they are all imported from third world nations fact ami bole dilam ora dekhte sundor lage the crux of the matter is they have nothing starting from food to energy to everything they have to depend on other countries okay then come genetic factors genetic factors against relatives 
first degree, second degree relatives come into play, just like breast carcinoma. I'm not emphasizing too much on it. You'll be able to understand. Racial factors. Geography and racial factors, they go hand in gloves. JJ country gulo bollam, shekan kal loker modde prochur pao jai. Indians there modde, South Indians there modde prochur pao jai. Okay, gastric carcinoma. Partial gastrectomy. Partial gastrectomy. Say for example, for peptic ulcer disease. Peptic ulcer to mother hoi gashi. So peptic ulcer gas gastrectomy hoi. Partial gastrectomy hoi te pare. So partial gastrectomy te cano malignancy arise kore. Why? Gastrectomy, partial gastrectomy te je residual stump ta thakhe she kane malignancy arise kore. The karun teke. Because of Reduce gastric acid secretion or total absence of gastric acid secretion. Acrohydria or hypochlorhydria. Acrohydria means total cessation of gastric acid secretion or hypochlorhydria means hypo means small. Reduced amount of gastric secretion. This allows H. pylori to grow. This allows H. pylori to grow. Okay, so everything is hand in glove. Shop to look, shop genes look into interrelated. So you have to have a concept, only then you'll be able to write everything. Okay, and then the pre malignant changes in gastric mucosa like dysplasia. So etiology part are clear, right? Location which is the most common site, predominantly the pylorus and the anterior region. You know, I mean, a part that explain Korchina. You, you, your knowledge of stomach is better than mine because you're fresh from anatomy. So, which is the uh, part which is most commonly affected? The distal part of the stomach, the pylorus and the pylo 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 region is the site which is most commonly affected by gastric carcinomas. Okay. So, if I ask you the cell of origin. Cell of origin, you can know the cell of origin. Gastric adenocarcinoma, what is the case? Gastric adenocarcinoma, what is the case? Hey, what is the case? What is the case? What is the case? What is the case? Tell me. Tell me the cell of origin. Look into the. Yeah, let me see if you can see, uh, say correctly or not. What is the case? Very good. This is the reason why I tell you to come forward. Jari the to halo kora ashini chobi to. Ekhan theke dekha jacche to? Ha? Clearly. So, adenocarcinoma from the glandular epithelium. Adenocarcinoma is from the epithelial cells of the gastric glands. Lymphoma from the lymphocytes. Carcinoid tumors from the G cells. Okay. Lyomas are come at the example dilam from the smooth muscles. So. A cell of origin gulo kintu jante hobe. You should this at least the cell of origin should be at your fingertips. To the examiner jigesh kore carcinoid mane ki kotha theke arise korche neuroendocrine tumor you should be able to tell that. Correct. Similarly adenocarcinoma ito jante hobe from where adenocarcinoma arises. So this is clear right? Cell of origin. The cell of origin is important. Now coming to the classification. Now coming to the classification. A point gulo exam point of view take into very important. Exam point of view take into very important. So three classification for the body. Three types of classifications. There can there are three types of classifications. So the examiner jigesh kore classify gastric carcinoma. Don't just say um, uh, histologic variants, intestinal type and diffuse type. No 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 no. That is not expected. Okay, examiner. But on a cross question, so classification must be in three ways. One is first year check according to depth of invasion. What does it mean? Depth of invasion, what are the money? Shop pictures are telling me what are the key the bobat. I may explain for you. So, what are the layers of the stomach? You get the mucosa from in to out. It will take a bite from inside to outside. What are the various layers in the stomach? So, mucosa. Yes. 
עכשיו מפה זה? מסקולריס פרופריה And finally, the last is cirrhosis. Right. So, what is early gastric cancer? It I'm explaining. Kore chila mora problem the practical class hai. What is early gastric cancer? There, according to depth of invasion, jeta ke bolle Bowman classification, it is classified into early and advanced. What is early? Kotha ruko jan. What is early gastric cancer? Depth of invasion. Mucosa the care is called a thermite. First, I have to tell you that the layers of the stomach, if you know the layers of the stomach, mucosa, submucosa, muscularis propria, and serosa, out of these four layers, gastric adenocarcinoma arises from which layer? <coughs> so, mucosa the care is called a depth of the care is called a by the big age. So we are looking at depth of invasion. It is the mucosa, it is submucosa, muscularis, and then serosa. Kiba be wa penetrate korte shita. Boza chhe. So what is early gastric carcinoma? Anybody? Mucosa and submucosa. So early gastric carcinoma means the tumor is confined to. Mucosa and submucosa. Early gastric carcinoma is confined to mucosa, but maximum to submucosa. And what about the rest? Jodi ek duto the amra tag kori as early gastric carcinoma. Ta hole advanced gastric carcinoma ki tumor which spreads beyond. Submucosa. Tumor which spreads beyond submucosa into muscularis propria or serosa. So, what does this mean? What is, why is it important? Why is it important? It has prognostic values. It has prognostic values. The five year survival rate after gastrectomy in case of an early gastric carcinoma is very good. Maybe 90 to 95 percent, somewhere around that. But if the tumor is advanced, irrespective of the lymph nodal status, advanced gastric carcinoma, as the name suggests, has a poor prognosis. Early gastric carcinoma has a better prognosis, whereas advanced. Gastric carcinoma. It is a good prognosis. I good to follow now. Better prognosis as compared to advanced. This is poor prognosis. So prognostic importance are taken. Okay. Okay. Patient who can treat code Everything is related to prognosis. J treatment that we offer could be J diagnosis that we could show. J diagnosis or report based for a treatment of it. And ultimately, the treatment will be such that it is beneficial to the patient. And that is the importance of knowing the prognosis. How will the patient fare if I give this kind of treatment? And to receive the treatment, you have to depend on various ancillary techniques. For example, endoscopic biopsy, for example, say surgical resection of the tumor, gastric. So surgical resection obviously is a part of treatment. Surgical resection to talk on genuine report from the lab. J the tumor has penetrated up to this level. Okay, is it clear? Is it clear or should I explain? I don't think it, this needs explanation. Clear? Okay. Now coming to the growth patterns. We can have a puruta chobi dichi. Sorry. AJ. So if you look at this picture, the Bowman classification. 
This is stage zero or stage one up to maximum submucosa. Stage two, stage three, stage four, they have penetrated the submucosa into the muscularis propria and finally the serosa. So when we when it spreads into the serosa, what is the term used? Transmural. Transmural. I mean muscle penetration, they teach them, right? Gastric carcinoma. I showed you muscle penetration batch A. You could have the muscle in the form of It's the, the, the malignant epithelial cells in the form of glands are buried deep into the muscle. I've showed you that. I've shown you that. Correct? Anana, Bulagachis. You, you forgot. No, you did not. Fine. Very good. Is this picture clear? Is this picture clear? Bowman classification. Is this picture clear? That you did not read the book. I mean, of course, I'm not discouraging you from reading the book. But if you see this picture, and if you form a concept, that even if you don't have enough time to study the entire book, say one or two days before exam, when you need to flip pages, that's the only option left before exam. And if you have a clear-cut concept and look at these pictures, I think it will become very easy for you at least to write something. That, that's what we expect from you. We don't expect too much. We don't expect too much from you, but we expect basic. Is it very difficult to draw this diagram if this question comes? Is it very difficult to draw this diagram? Mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, and finally the serosa. tumor spread. Is it very difficult to draw? I don't think it's very difficult to draw. So represent, prepare yourself in such a way that in the exam paper, you, you will be able to represent yourself. Your answers should be such that it impresses the examiner. We don't expect too much from you. We expect basic from you. And this is, I think, is basic. This will be very difficult for you to draw. question Tell me yes or no. This is not difficult. This is not at all difficult. Right? You should be able to. Then growing to the... So the first one is gone, the Bowman classification according to depth of invasion. Then coming to the growth patterns. One is flat mucosal lesions. Flat, the early gastric cancers or the dysplastic changes in the stomach, they present as Flat mucosal lesions. I'll show you the picture. Flat mucosal lesions. Then exophytic carcinomas. What is which tumor presents as exophytic carcinoma? What is exophytic? Means a polypoidal lesion projecting into the lumen. Projecting into the lumen. Then comes ulcerated carcinomas. Can peptic ulcers become malignant? Yes, peptic ulcers can become malignant. There are 0.1% of peptic ulcers are malignant. There are certain features of malignancy. How do you differentiate a benign ulcer from a malignant ulcer? So I'm asking you, who, is, who will be able to tell me? Look into the book and tell me, you, look into the book and tell me what's the difference between a benign ulcer and the boy kura goshe ulcer kind of. Benign ulcer and a malignant ulcer. What are the ages of a malignant ulcer? Ages. Hmm? Irregular. I like a particular word I'm looking for. Heaped up margins. Heaped up margins are characteristic of malignant ulcers. Hmm. Hipped up margin, sir. Characteristic of hipped up margin is that is one of the features is a characteristic of is a characteristic of malignant ulcer. Okay, correct. And what is the criteria to call an ulcer as so? At ulcer in nature, kitha ke. Tell me. After jodi ulcer hoy. The stomach will try to repair itself. Tale ki pabe, ulcer in niche. Exactly. Tale ki shita ke bode. Granulation tissue. Chokhon amra microscope hai. Diagnose kori ulcer. To call it, to call an ulcer as so, we have to demonstrate, we need to see 
whether granulation tissue is present or not. এটা এটা সঙ্গে related নয়, কিন্তু জানি রাখলাম আমি। একটা ulcer কখন তুমি বলবে? যখন ulcer এর নিচে তোমার granulation tissue দেখতে পাবে। Obviously ulcer means there is a discontinuity in the epithelium. So the granulation tissue কিছু কি করবে? They will try to repair that ulcer. তাহলে কি করে mechanism টা হবে? Obviously there will be granulation tissue. Means granulation tissue তে কি থাকে? Small dilated blood vessels. Right, which will provide nutrition, then fibroblasts, isn't it? Which will lay down collagen. Correct. It has a able normal. So both patterns in the are flat mucosal lesions, exophytic, ulcerated, and diffuse infiltrating carcinoma. Diffuse infiltrating carcinoma to also linitis plastica. That is one of the patterns of growth in gastric adenocarcinoma. The cells infiltrate as single cells. They penetrate as single cells, not as gland. I'll come to that. Okay. And finally comes the histologic variant. The histologic variant is called Lorentz classification. Lorentz classification. The histologic variant ki Lorentz classification. Correct. Okanochi intestinal type, which is which equates to the exophytic carcinoma and finally the diffuse infiltrative type which equates with the last one diffuse infiltrating carcinoma or linitis plastica I'll, I'll be coming to that okay but before going to that you need to know certain inherited cancer syndromes certain inherited cancer syndromes what's interested nurse huh just over here huh so first and foremost is germline defect in E. catherine. Germline defect in E. catherine. E. catherine is, is a gene known as CDH1. What is the role of E. catherine? So, what is the role of E. catherine? Yes, cell adhesion. Now, here comes cell adhesion. So, tight intracellular junction. They maintain the integrity of the intracellular junction. So, if there is a defect in E. catherine, if there is a defect in CDH1 gene, the cells will detach from one another. Isn't it? The cells will detach from one another. What does E. catherine do? The cells will be attached. The cells are attached because of the functions played by E. catherine. If E. catherine is lost, the function of E. catherine, the physiological function of E. catherine is lost. The cells will not remain attached anymore. They will be detached. Tale cells guru na? Single cells hoi jam. Eno kom hoi jam. Right? Correct. So the cells will penetrate as single cells. Penetration as Single cells. Clear? Is it clear? They will penetrate as single cells. It a cone variant of adenocarcinoma. This is the diffuse infiltrating variant. Our cell type predominantly kita ke khane bol dekhi. No, no. There is a particular, there is a cell a particular name. Who can answer this? Huh? Manchi phobia epithelial cells take into the difference with exophytic carcinoma is they won't be in the form of glands. They will diffuse as single cells. A cell group a particular name. These particular cells, they have abundant cytoplasm. 
which pushes the nucleus to the periphery. Signet ring cells. Eglo ke bole? Signet ring cells. Correct. Signet ring. Dhaak dhaak boi dhaak. Signet ring cells. Dekhen aamre bhol phol kol le bolo dhe barbi. Aamre shab jani na. So they are called signet rings. And signet rings are a characteristic feature ki? They induce what? They induce what? Uh, but they do something. Desmoplasia. Signet rings ki korai? Desmoplasia. Desmoplasia juno ki hoche? लेदर बटल Giving the appearance of a leather bottle. So, what is the term called? What is? Exam ta ki achhe boye. This is the line edge is plastic. This is characteristic of. Infiltrative type of carcinoma. Infiltrative type of carcinoma. Can you examine the genes? Correct. Which gene? Which gene is involved? Germline defect of which gene causes infiltrating carcinoma? E cadherin, CDH1. Right. That is one thing. Next, next comes mutation of beta catenin. Beta catenin under normal physiological conditions binds to E cadherin. So it's obvious that if beta catenin is mutated, there will be a tumor, and the tumor in nature ta ki hobe thale same, because under normal physiological conditions, beta catenin binds to binds to E catenin. So histologically, you're going to get which kind of carcinoma? Intestinal type of, uh, not intestinal, diffuse infiltrating type of adenocarcinoma. Means signet ring carcinoma, signet ring cells. Don't say signet ring carcinoma, signet ring cells. Okay. Next comes FAP mutation in the APC gene, adenomatous polyposis coli gene. So, what is APC? What is FAP? Familial adenomatous polyposis. Familial adenomatous polyposis. You get multiple polyps in the colon, and these patients are prone to. Yes, sir. And these patients are prone to develop colonic as well as gastric carcinoma. F A P colon is jokon bola hobe, bola hobe. Somebody else will be taking that class. HNPCC. Hereditary non polyposis colorectal carcinoma. Hereditary non polyposis colorectal carcinoma. इगलो मो अमे इगलो पर कोई एक स्पेसिफाइड कोर्मो ना कन इगलो मोस्टली कोलोने लग बे. वो कहने MLH1, MSH2 जीन, MSH6 जीन. Various genes are involved. तार मुद्दे इम्पोर्टेंट रोचे MLH1 और MSH2 जीन. ये खाने उकिन तो पेशेंट डेवलप्स colonic carcinoma as well as gastric carcinoma along with pancreatic carcinoma breast carcinoma etc etc so naam gulo jene rakh braca 1 braca 2 this is very common braca 1 braca 2 kintu stomach e ache kintu stomach e theke eta beshi important kothay breast and ovaries breast and ovaries so females are affected okay Lee Fraumeni syndrome P53 is the guardian of the genome. Just name gulo mone rakho. Peutz Jeghers syndrome. What happens in Peutz Jeghers syndrome? Other than other than malignancies in various parts, colon, pancreas, stomach, etc., etc. Sometimes in the airways also, lungs and uh, aerodigestive tract. 
there are various malignancies which happen in case of pubes Zeger syndrome and there is one more thing that happens in pubes Zeger syndrome what is it freckles mucocutaneous spots mucocutaneous spots in the lip inner side of the chick etc pubes Zeger syndrome okay and finally family history first degree relative I'm not explaining too much this you can study. So the inherited cancer syndromes are important, which you have to know. Germline defects of E. catarin, mutations of beta catenin, FAP, HNPCC, BRCA1, BRCA2, Lee from many, Pugh Jagers, and first degree relatives. So these are all the <coughs> excuse me, these are all the inherited cancer syndromes. They must be at your fingertips. Examiner may ask you. Okay. So stages I'm going to explain Korichi. I'm not going into it. So this is a malignant ulcer which I asked you. They have heaped up margins. They have rolled out heaped up margins. Whereas in case of benign gastric ulcer, they have plain margins. Okay, no problem. So malignant gastric ulcers, what about it? 0.1% of the the peptic ulcers they turn into malignancy okay so this is the growth pattern which I told you I'll be uh, showing you later this is the these are the various growth patterns actually I'm a slide here Anyway, I'm showing you. So this is an exophytic. Exophytic manatee. I'm mean, Exophytic is what? Intestinal type means they project into the lumen as a polypoidal growth. They project into the lumen as polypoidal growth. That is flat or depressed. Flat or depressed. Jeta early gastric carcinoma paunch jayo. Kani kintu kono polypoidal growth na. Ota flat thake. Very difficult to identify and the, uh, even sometimes endoscopic biopsies fail to identify them. But the, the best method to identify them is an endoscopic biopsy. The best method to identify them is an endoscopic bi biopsy. Then you get the linitis plastica. That is the diffuse infiltrative variant. Excavated, which burrows deep. And then you get the linitis plastica where single cells infiltrate. Single cells in infiltrate. A, a, a picture gulur mudde, if you see these pictures versus linitis plastica, can you make out this yellowish part? Yellow jinish taki. There's no plastic reaction. They make the stuff, the stomach wall becomes extremely thick because of desmoplasia. Okay, the stomach wall becomes extremely thick. Leather bottle appearance volume. Leather bottle appearance volume. Barium meal jokon kora hai na? It shows an irregular filling defect. Because it becomes the lumen is so much obliterated because of despoplasia. The lumen is so much obliterated because of despoplasia that when you do a barium meal study, it shows an irregular filling defect. Okay, so this is the growth pattern. Again, making things very easy for you. The, ex the things which I have explained on the board, I explained earlier, this is the various growth patterns. You can study. Whichever becomes easier for you. If you want to study from this, whichever is easier for you, you can study from that. I have put two, three pictures together. Okay, the same thing. Key. Oh, excavated take a bolchora from getting. Take a different, it's a different nam de chip. Aja, but the more or less is similar. Ah, examine out of one of the problem and have an addition. Okay, they are all burrowing. Okay, whichever is easy for you, if you want to study from this, whichever is easy for you, you can study. But I'm trying to make it as simple for you as possible. That's why I put so many diagrams. Kunta flat dekte kirokom lage, excavated buff, fungating kirokom lage, ulcerated kirokom lage. Ulcerated jokon bolcho, please make mention the margins of the ulcer. Malignant ulcer and margin take mention kore de and underline it. So you have to make the examiner realize that you know it. Bar bar bolchi, a jinish gulo kinto very important. Examiner kache impression create koro. Create an uh, impression in front of the examiner. After question, it's going to help you in the future. Future, I'm going to ask you a question. Marks, please. 
ট্রাস্ট মি তুমি যদি এক্সামিনারে কিছু কোয়েশ্চেন এই ফর্টি সেভেন ফর্টি এইট পাচ্ছে স্টুডেন্ট একটা এক্সাম্পল দিলাম আউট অফ হান্ড্রেড থ্রি ফোর মার্কসে ফেল করে গেছে আমি একটা এক্সাম্পল দিচ্ছি থ্রি ফোর মার্কসে স্টুডেন্ট ফেল করে গেছে এখানে দুটো জায়গায় এটা খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট হয় একটা ফুটবলে যেরকম এক যারা ফার্স্ট থ্রিতে থাকে হু ফাইটিং ফর দ্য চ্যাম্পিয়নশিপ অ্যান্ড লাস্টে যারা তিনটে থাকে আমি ইংলিশ প্রিমিয়ার লিগের কথা বলছি হু ব্যাটেলস টু সেভ রেলিগেশন রাইট তাদের জন্য এভরি মার্কস ইজ ইম্পর্টেন্ট যারা ডিস্টিংশন পাবে ইউনিভার্সিটি টপ করবে তাদের যেরকম এভরি মার্কস ইজ ইম্পর্টেন্ট সিমিলারলি যারা একদম বটমে থাকে ইটস আ ফ্যাক্ট ইফ ওদের ইউ লাইক ইট অন নট দ্যাটস দ্য হার্স রিয়ালিটি যারা একদম বটমে থাকে না তাদের পাস করাতে হয় ইন্টারস্ট্যান্ডেল ভেরিয়েন্ট ইন্টারস্ট্যান্ডেল ভেরিয়েন্ট is the picture which i have shown you in gastric carcinoma that is the intestinal variant now do i need to explain that again grossly they present as polypoidal muscles grossly they present as polypoidal muscles projecting into the lumen grossly as polypoidal muscles which project into the lumen so microscopically what are you going to get the intestinal pattern of growth means the tumor penetrate as glands the tumor penetrate as the individual tumor cells the malignant tumor cells they penetrate in the form of glands papilla tubules etc etc okay the glands are lined by tall columnar mucin secreting cells what is this what is this these are all the malignant glands isn't it this is more of a there is more of a papillary pattern in this one this is mostly glandular in the form of tubes in the form of tubules this is mostly papilla this is mostly tubules what is this kal ke ami dekhechi colonel classic what is this this whitish whitish thing who should who, you should be able to answer that come on tell me mucin compared to gastric carcinoma you get more mucin where in colonic carcinoma on colon a maximum goblet cells are present in the large intestine jekhan theke maximum mucin secretion hoy but you also sometimes get mucin in stomach okay and what is this one this is also the malignant cell but very poorly cohesive poorly differentiated they can be graded as well differentiated moderately differentiated and poorly differentiated so this is probably very well differentiated because it resembles the parent architecture it resembles the parent architecture whereas this one is poorly differentiated because ekhane kono gland pachcho na the glands have been fragmented they are broken and they are penetrating as single cells that's why they are poorly differentiated okay eigulo this comes with experience eigulo mathay dum kore chobi dui ekta chobi dekhle nao bujhte paro so this is basically a picture a intestinal variant where you get a polypoidal mass can you make out the polypoidal mass here isn't it clear isn't it clear the polypoidal mass what is this that this is an endoscopy this is an endoscopy which shows a polypoidal mass clear anana okay now the diffuse infiltrating variant i have already explained to you kibhabe hocche just look into the cells signet ring cells signet ring cells see see here ekhane kintu kono polypoidal mass nei there is no polypoidal mass what are the, this is a stomach what are these things called jekhane amar pointer ta point kore ache ha the rugus the rugus eta ruge eta ruge thik machkhane eta ki tale the ruge is lost ekhane kono this loss of normal ruge right it has become flat dekhe mone hocche smooth hoye geche but this is the pathological part you won't get to see any mass projecting into the lumen but rather individual tumor cells have diffusely penetrated the wall of the stomach shei jonno erokom ekta appearance asche here you can get a ruga here you get a ruga the ruga is normal but this part doesn't show any ruga there is loss of ruga it has become flat so eta kintu indicate korche that this this is what this is this is where the tumor cells are penetrated as individual cells ei jagah ta thick hoye geche seta hat dhorle bole jay desmoplastic reaction er jonno and when you see the microscopy which i have just showed you there 
look into this light this all dark 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 staining roundish roundish things are the nuclei this is the cell and the cells have this whitish colored things you go looking that is the mucin the mucins have abundant mucin have pushed the nuclei to the periphery and this is the characteristic of signet ring cells this is the characteristic of signet ring cells clear is it clear or it needs explanation i think this should, this should be clear let the bottle appearance it is it a bottle me let the bottle appearance the wall becomes extremely stiff and rigid because of desmoplastic reaction because of desmoplastic reaction clear a dot important this is known as lorin classification intestinal variant and diffuse infiltrating variant okay now coming to spread of gastric carcinoma this is important spread of gastric carcinoma ei chobi ta jai thak ami tomar bhalo bhabe explain kore dicchi what is a local spread one is a local spread one is a local spread local kothay kothay jete pare into the stomach er pashe ki ache peritoneum it can spread into the peritoneum second kotha jodi eta distal part of the of the stomach e hoy pylorus and antrum which is the most common site tale shekhan theke kothay jete pare ha yes jore kothay jete pare একবারে কোলনে চলে গেলি তার আগে কিছু নেই ডুডেনাম হয়ে যেতে পারে দা ফার্স্ট পার্ট অফ ডুডেনাম ইট ক্যান গো ইনটু দা ফার্স্ট পার্ট অফ ডুডেনাম তো এরকম প্রচুর ইন এন্ড अराउंड ডাইজেসন স্ট্রাকচারস ক্যান বি ইনভলভ সো দিস ইজ লোকাল দেন কমস লিম্ফ্যাটিক লিম্ফ্যাটিক এর মধ্যে কোথায় যেতে পারে হ্যাঁ কি মেসেন্ট্রিক there is a tumor there is a lymph node which is very commonly involved and this can be the first sign of malignancy examine jigis korte paro ha supraclavicular lymph node what is it called virchow's node virchow's node so this is a lymphatic onek shomoy it can spread around the Umbilicus, it a local spread here. Hotel bar, around the umbilicus, forming nodules. It can spread around the umbilicus, forming nodules. What is it called? Sister Mary Joseph nodule. Very good. Very nice answer. Sister Mary Joseph nodule. This was the one uh, nurse. She was a nurse who first identified it as a sign of gastric malignancy. So. Sister Mary Joseph nodule. So now you know Virchow's node. You should know, you know what is a Virchow's node, and so Virchow's node is also sentinel lymph node. Virchow's now you know what is a Virchow's node, and now after that you know what is a Sister Mary Joseph nodule. Virchow's node, Sister Mary Joseph nodule. Exam. I mean, only that question ta korbo. Amar ko favorite question ita. Because examiner may ask you Virchow's node and Sister Mary Joseph nodule. Lymphatic spread or ki aste pare? hematogenous spread hematogenous spread means via blood distant side e liver e jete pare lungs e jete pare bones e jete pare etc etc thik ache so ei jinish gulo kintu tomader jante hobe and there's one more thing which is known as transcellomic spread transcellomic spread tumors from colon breast stomach they can spread transcellomically uh, uh, spread uh, uh, the, 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 there can be transcellomic spread of these tumors into the ovaries what is it called krukenberg tumor krukenberg tumor shunacho naam kruken ami jiges korlo to ha ha bolo porikha ke bolte parbe porikha bola is important bhai gastric carcinoma ei bhabe porachi should be able to answer something Okay, so now you know the various spreads: the local spread, lymphatic spread, hematogenous spread, and transcellomic spread. These four are important. Leg B examiner, I am going to underline it. Examiner, I am going to highlight it. 
তারপরে ডিপেন্ড করছে কে খাতা দেখছে সেটাও একটা ম্যাটার করে এটা ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট দিস ইজ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট হু সিজ ইয়োর কপি এটা খুব ম্যাটার করে ফ্যাক্ট আমি আর ডিফারেন্সে যাচ্ছি না देयर ইজন্ট টু মাচ টাইম এটা বইয়ে আছে ইফ ইউ দিস ইজ ফ্রম বিনয় কামাল ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু স্টাডি ফ্রম বিনয় কামাল গো টু দ্য লাইব্রেরি ইটস আ বিউটিফুল বুক বারবার এক কথা বলছি আমি ইটস আ বিউটিফুল বুক মাচ বেটার দ্যান দ্য নায়ক ইউ রিড Vinay Kamal is an excellent book. So what are the clinical features? More or less similar. Shop Kishan Mudde more or less similar. Okay. Tired, fatigue, anorexia, nausea, heartburn, loss of appetite. These are all the early features. Then late symptoms say it becomes loss of weight, yellowish discoloration of the skin, difficulty in swallowing. etc etc okay not uh, spending too much time on it coming straight to the investigations investigation is important jigesh for the 100% asbe purika art satak marks in investigation ashe first is serum tumor markers ca72.4 and cea ca72.4 can also be in increased in colonic carcinoma along with gastric carcinoma and ca carcinoma embryonic antigen এটা কিন্তু গ্যাস্ট্রিক কার্সিনোমাতে বাড়ছে আর এছাড়া আর কোথায় কোথায় বাড়ছে জাস্ট নো দেম নন সেমিনোমেটাস জমসেল টিউমারস এটসেট্রা এটসেট্রা ওকে ওভারি টু ওভারি গুলোতে বাড়ছে ওকে বাট সি এ 72.4 এন্ড সি এ লিখে হাইলাইট করে দাও সি দিস আর সিরাম টিউমার মার্কার্স আমি এর জন্য করেছি এক্সফোলিয়েটিভ সাইটোলজি গ্যাস্ট্রিক লাভাজ পেট থেকে নিয়ে আসছে গ্যাস্ট্রিক কন্টেন্টস গুলোকে নিয়ে আসছে গ্যাস্ট্রিক লাভাজ হুম then endoscopy endoscopy naam ta sobai shunecho tumra you have heard of endoscopy endoscopy ta ki korche to know the extent of lesion to know the extent of lesion ami je bollam endoscopic biopsy early gastric carcinoma advanced gastric carcinoma tader extent ta bojhar jonno endoscopy is very important and also to take biopsies from the representative areas endoscopic biopsies to take biopsies from the representative areas then comes imaging techniques ct scan mri usg etc etc eta ki korche they help to rule out secondary metastatic deposits pet scan tet scan eigulo kore jete pare kintu eigulo onek advanced stage e kore okay imaging techniques to rule out basically metastatic secondary deposits clear barium mill study barium mill study barium mill study especially ekto age ami bolechi in case of linitis plastica in case of linitis plastica barium mill study shows irregular filling defects irregular filling defects then comes histopathological examination endoscopic biopsy holo tar pore amra histopathological examination korlam finally jodi amader problem hoy histopathology te identify korte we go for ihc immunohistochemistry we go for immunohistochemistry and fish immunohistochemistry and fish you know the full form of fish fluorescence in situ hybridization just naam gulo jene rakho okay naam gulo jene rakho finally the prognosis prognosis depends on few factors one is depth of invasion depth of invasion a key early gastric carcinoma has a better prognosis than advanced gastric carcinoma and extent of lymph nodal and distant metastasis to the lymph node metastasis pore jay but distant metastasis hoye jay tale kintu it has a poor prognosis ei jinish gulo kintu matha rakhte hobe okay so this finishes the topic on gastric carcinoma two types of contraceptive methods one is spacing method one is terminal methods thik ache spacing method hocche tar under e pore first of all there is barrier method then intrauterine devices hormonal devices ba hormonal methods post conceptional methods and miscellaneous ar terminal method hocche sterilization তো ফার্স্ট অফ অল স্পেসিং মেথড স্পেসিং মেথডে দেখো কথার মধ্যে আছে স্পেসিং মানে বন্ধ করা নয় ফার্টিলিটি গ্যাপ তৈরি করা বিটুইন টু প্রেগনেন্সিস সো দ্যাট ইজ স্পেসিং মেথড স্পেসিং এর মধ্যে প্রথমে বলছে ব্যারিয়ার মেথড মানে একটা ব্যারিয়ার তৈরি করা হচ্ছে ব্যারিয়ার ইন হোয়াট ব্যারিয়ার ইন ফর্মিং জাইগোট 
barrier in forming uh, barrier in fertilization of sperm and ovum ঠিক আছে তার মধ্যে একটা হবে ফিজিক্যাল মেথড একটা কেমিক্যাল মেথড আর একটা হচ্ছে কম্বাইন্ড মেথড মানে ফিজিক্যাল প্লাস কেমিক্যাল কম্বাইন্ড সো ফার্স্ট অফ অল যেটা আসবে সেটা হচ্ছে ফিজিক্যাল মেথড ফিজিক্যাল মেথড ফার্স্টে আসবে কন্ডম তারপরে আসবে একটা আছে ফিমেল কন্ডম আর হচ্ছে তারপরে হচ্ছে ডায়াফ্রাম ডায়াফ্রাম অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইজ এ ভ্যাজাইনাল ব্যারিয়ার ঠিক আছে এগুলো আর ভ্যাজাইনাল স্পঞ্জ টুডে বলে যে ভ্যাজাইনাল স্পঞ্জ পাওয়া যায় এগুলোর কন্ডমের থেকে এগুলোর এফিকেসি অনেক কম সবচেয়ে মোস্ট এফিকেসি আছে কন্ডম কেমিক্যাল মেথড হচ্ছে ফোম ট্যাবলেট স্পারমিসাইডাল জেলি হ্যাঁ তারপরে ক্রিম স্পেস এগুলো আছে বাট দে শুড অলওয়েজ বি ইউজড ইন অ্যাডিশন টু দ্য পারমানেন্ট ব্যারিয়ার কনভেনশনাল ব্যারিয়ার মেথড দ্যাট ইজ দ্য কন্ডম মানে কম্বাইন্ড মেথড এই জন্যই বলে যদি তুমি কন্ডম উইথ স্পারমিসাইডাল জেলি ইউজ করা হয় তাহলে এফিকেসিটা শুধু কন্ডম ইউজের থেকে বেশি হবে ঠিক আছে নেক্সট হচ্ছে আইউডি যেটা খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট তোমাদের ইন্ট্রা ইউটেরিয়াইন ডিভাইসেস ইন্ট্রা ইউটেরিয়ান ডিভাইসেস দু ধরনের হয় নন মেডিকেটেড অ্যান্ড মেডিকেটেড আগে নন মেডিকেটেড ইন্ট্রা ইউটেরিয়ান ডিভাইসেস ইউজ হতো রিসেন্টলি ইউ মেডিকেটেড ইউটেরিয়ান ডিভাইসেস ইউজ হয় যেগুলোতে তোমার ওই ডিভাইসের গায়ে একটা হরমোনাল কোটিং থাকে যেটা কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ মেথড হিসাবে কাজ করবে সো নন মেডিকেটেড ইউ আইউডি যেগুলো আছে সেগুলো হচ্ছে ফার্স্ট জেনারেশন আইউডি ফার্স্ট জেনারেশন আইউডি হচ্ছে নেক্সট হচ্ছে কপার আইউডি কপার আইউডি হচ্ছে সেকেন্ড জেনারেশন আইউডি আর হরমোন রিলিজিং যে আইউডিগুলো আছে যেটা বললাম হরমোন কোটের আইউডি সেগুলো হচ্ছে থার্ড জেনারেশন আইউডি ঠিক আছে এখন কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ এফিকেসি কত বছর চলে মানে হচ্ছে তোমার পাঁচ বছর অব্দি সেগুলো এফেক্টিভ তারপরে কপারটিটাকে সরিয়ে চেঞ্জ করতে হয় থার্ড জেনারেশন আইউডি হচ্ছে maintaining contraception so progesta shot ekta ar ekta hocche libone libonorgestrel containing iudis progesta shot age use hoto jeta 38 mg progesterone thakto kintu ekhon jeta use hoy khub common bole dekhbe seta ke bole mirna m i r e n a mirna m i r e n a Mirna is Livonorgestrel containing 20 mcg Livonorgestrel thakye. So, you know, Mirna arakta naam hoche LNG 20. Thik hai? So, Livonorgestrel 20 mcg containing the IUD, seta hoche Mirna. Seta, <coughs> effect, wane, effective life hoche almost around 10 years. Egoon ekti expensive. Thik hai? Next hoche tomar, আইউডি জেনারেলি চেঞ্জ করতে হয় কোনটা পাঁচ বছর কোনটা সাত বছর কোনটা দশ বছর পরে 
চেঞ্জ করতে হয় এবং পিরিয়ডিক্যালি আইউডি যে তোমাদের দেখাবো দেখবে একটা থ্রেড থাকে সেই থ্রেডটা হ্যাং করে সেই থ্রেডটাকে বারবার চেক করতে হয় থ্রেডটা যদি মিসিং হয়ে যায় থ্রেডটা যদি আর দেখা না যায় তার মানে থ্রেডটা উপরে আটকে গেছে তাহলে সেক্ষেত্রে একটা ইনফেকশনের চান্স থাকে তখন আবার সেটাকে চেঞ্জ করতে হতে পারে দিস ইজ এন কাম্বারসাম ডিসঅ্যাডভান্টেজ অফ আইউডি ঠিক আছে এবার হচ্ছে হরমোনাল কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ যেগুলো হচ্ছে তোমার মানে পিল মোস্টলি পিল প্রথমে আসবে হচ্ছে তোমার ওরাল পিল ওরাল পিলের মধ্যে একটা আসবে কম্বাইন পিল কম্বাইন পিলে তোমার মানে ইথিনিয়াল ইস্ট্রাডিয়াল আর লিভোনাজেস্ট্রেল বা ডেসোজেস্ট্রেলটা একসঙ্গে থাকবে মানে পাতিকতা ইস্ট্রোজেন এবং প্রোজেস্টেরন দুটোর কম্বাইন পিল হবে আর একটা হচ্ছে প্রোজেস্টেরন অলডি পিল स्मल डोजे কিন্তু এটা খুব একটা এফিকেশিয়াস নয় আর একটা হচ্ছে পোস্ট কোয়াটাল কন্ট্রাসেপশন মানে মানুষরা রেগুলারলি কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ পিল ইউজ করে না তাদের যদি মানে ইন্টারকোর্স করার পর মনে হয় যে না আমরা এখন প্রেগনেন্সি চাইছি না সেক্ষেত্রে পোস্ট কোয়াটাল পিল এটা রেকমেন্ডেড হচ্ছে উইদিন সেভেন্টি টু আওয়ার্স অফ আনপ্রোটেক্টেড ইন্টারকোর্স সেভেন্টি টু আওয়ার্স ঠিক আছে তার একটা সিম্পল ওপেদ হচ্ছে আইউডি যেটা উইদিন ফাইভ ডেজ দিতে হয় আর না হলে হরমোনাল পিল হরমোনাল ট্যাবলেট রয়েছে ঠিক আছে আর একটা হচ্ছে লং অ্যাক্টিং ওয়ান সে মান্থ পিল কিন্তু খুব একটা এফেক্টিভ নয় আর একটা হচ্ছে মিনি পিল মিনি পিল যেটা রয়েছে সরি ওটাই তো প্রচেষ্টা হলো আর একটা হচ্ছে মেল পিল মেল পিল নিয়ে অনেক দিন অনেক ধরনের রিসার্চ চালু আছে বাট স্টিল নাও নাথিং ইজ এফেক্টিভ এটা গেল তোমার কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ পিল নেক্সট যেটা আসবে সেটা হচ্ছে এগুলো নিয়ে আরও ডিটেলসে তোমাদের পরে পড়ানো হবে আজকের মেন উদ্দেশ্য হচ্ছে শর্ট ইন্ট্রোডাকশন উইথ ডেমনস্ট্রেশন ঠিক আছে নেক্সট হচ্ছে তোমাদের পিল হলো এবার হচ্ছে ইনজেক্টেবল ফর্মুলেশন যেগুলোকে ডিপট প্রপারেশন বলে ঠিক আছে ইনজেক্টেবল কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ যেটা ইনজেক্টেবল কন্ট্রাসেপটিভের মধ্যে একটা হয় প্রোজেস্টেরন অনলি কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ আর একটা হচ্ছে পিলের মতোই डीएमपीएससी मिलीग्राम प्रोजेस्टेरोजेन थे मान्थलि मेसिगना सैक्लोफेन एग्लो नाम आई एम इंजेक्शन हिसाब से छाने खुब 
অল্প 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 করে পাঁচ বছর পর্যন্ত এফেক্টিভ থাকে ওটা প্রজেস্টনটাকে রিলিজ করতে থাকে ঠিক আছে কিন্তু মেন ডিসঅ্যাডভান্টেজ হচ্ছে বেশিরভাগ কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ মেথডসের মেন যেটা মানে ডিসঅ্যাডভান্টেজ সেটা হচ্ছে মেনস্ট্রুয়াল ইররেগুলারিটি বিভিন্ন ক্ষেত্রে ব্লিডিং এর চান্স খুব বেড়ে যায় বা মেনস্ট্রুয়াল ইররেগুলারিটি হয় একদম সেম ওয়েতে তোমাদের আরেকটা জিনিস জানতে হবে যেটা সেটা হচ্ছে যে এই যে ইনজেক্টেবল কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ তার মধ্যে যেগুলো প্রোজেস্টেরন অনলি ইনজেক্টেবলস আছে সেগুলো কিছু কন্ট্রা ইন্ডিকেশনস আছে যারা খুব ওবেস যাদের কোনো ম্যালিগন্যান্সি আছে জেনিটাল ক্যান্সার বা কোনো সাসপেক্টেড ম্যালিগন্যান্সি খুব বেশি হেভি ব্লিডিং হচ্ছে খুব বেশি পেশেন্টের হিস্ট্রি অফ স্ট্রোক আছে বা পেশেন্ট ইজ হাইপার টেনসিভ হাইপার টেনসিভ মানে খুব বেশি বিপি তাদের ক্ষেত্রে এটা কন্ট্রা ইন্ডিকেটেড সেম ওয়েতে কম্বাইন্ড যে ইনজেক্টেবল কন্ট্রাসেপটিভগুলো রয়েছে দে আর কন্ট্রা ইন্ডিকেটেড ইন এনি কাইন্ড অফ ফম্বোএম্বলিক ডিসঅর্ডার মানে ওই স্ট্রোক মাইগ্রেন কোনো ম্যালিগন্যান্সি ভাস্কুলার কোনো কম্প্লিকেশান যদি থাকে কারো যদি ডিবিটি থাকে তাহলে দেয়া যাবে না হলো এবার আর একটা জিনিস যেটা সেটা হচ্ছে তোমাদের এই যে আইউডি রয়েছে বহু ধরনের আইউডি ইউজ হয়েছে যেগুলো ওয়াইডলি ইউজ সেগুলো ঠিক আছে বাকিগুলোতে কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ ফেলিওর এবং চান্সেস অফ ব্লিডিং অর ইনফেকশনের একটা চান্স থেকে যায় এবং চান্স অফ পারফোরেশন যদি কোনোভাবে থ্রেডটা মিসিং হয় ওটা হাই আপ হয়ে যায় তাহলে সেটা পেইটোনিয়ামকে ইন্টেস্টিনকে পারফোরেট করতে পারে সো আইউডি হ্যাজ সাম কন্ট্রা ইন্ডিকেশনস যদি কোনো প্রেগনেন্সি থাকে কোনো জেনিটাল ম্যালিগন্যান্সি থাকে কোনো আন্ডায়াগনোজ ব্লিড থাকে বা একটোপিক প্রেগনেন্সি থাকে তাহলে আইউডি ইউজ করা যায় না ঠিক আছে এগুলো হচ্ছে বা কোনো পেশেন্টের যদি কোনো পিআইডি থাকে পেলভিক ইনফ্লেমেটারি ডিজিজ সেক্ষেত্রে তার পেলভিক ইনফ্লেমেটারি ডিজিজ যদি থাকে সেক্ষেত্রে তাদের ইনফেকশনের চান্স যাতে না বাড়ে সেই জন্য আইউডি দেওয়াটা উচিত না ঠিক আছে মেন কমপ্লিকেশন অফ আইউডি হচ্ছে ব্লিডিং ইউটারাইন পারফরেশন যেটা বললাম ইনফেকশন ইরেগুলার ব্লিডিং ইউটারাইন পারফরেশন পেলভিক ইনফেকশন যে জন্য পিআইডিতে দেওয়া হয় না আর প্রেগনেন্সি প্রেগনেন্সি চান্স খুব কম কিন্তু একটোপিক প্রেগনেন্সির চান্স আইউডি আইউডি দেওয়ার পরে পেশেন্ট যদি প্রেগনেন্ট হয় তাহলে দেয়ার ইজ হায়ার দ্যান নর্মাল যাদের নেই আইউডি ইনসার্টে তাদের থেকে একটোপিক প্রেগনেন্সিয়ার চান্স বেশি একটা এক্সপালশনের চান্স থেকে যায় অনেক সময় সেক্ষেত্রে সেক্ষেত্রে সেটাকে আবার মানে বের করে দিতে হয় এবং রি ইনসার্সনে ট্রাই করতে হয় আর ফার্টিলিটি যে তুমি যেদিন বন্ধ করে দেবে সেদিন রিমুভাল অফ ব্যারিয়ার মেথড তো রিমুভাল অফ যে ফার্টিলিটি যে সরি রিটার্ন অফ ফার্টিলিটি সেটা আসতে কিন্তু সময় লাগে ইমিডিয়েটলি আফটার ওটার পরে না হয় না ঠিক আছে অনেক ক্ষেত্রে ওয়ান ইয়ার অনেক ক্ষেত্রে পিআইডি হয়ে সেটা টু ইয়ার্স থ্রি ইয়ার্সও হয়ে যায় ঠিক আছে হরমোনাল কন্ট্রাসেপটিভের যেটা অ্যাডভার্স এফেক্ট সেটা হচ্ছে প্রলং ডিউজ অফ হরমোনাল কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ ইজ অ্যাসোসিয়েটেড উইথ কার্ডিওভাসকুলার রিস্ক ঠিক আছে অ্যাথ্রোস্কিওটিক একটা পোটেন্সিয়াল থাকে মানে ভাস্কুলার যে ডিসঅর্ডার মাইকার্ডাল ইনফ্রাকশন সেরিপ্রোভেনাস থ্রম্বোসিস এগুলো বা পালমোনারি এম্বলিজম এগুলো হওয়ার চান্স বাড়ে ঠিক আছে কিন্তু এখনকার দিনে যে মডার্ন ওসিপিগুলো রয়েছে সেগুলোতে দ্য অ্যামাউন্ট অফ কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ মানে হরমোনাল কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ যে ইনগ্রেডিয়েন্ট সেটা খুব কম থাকে সেই জন্য নিউ আর পিলে যাতে এই রিস্কগুলো অনেকটা কম হয় তার সঙ্গে কিছুটা মেটাব কিছুটা মেটাবলিক এফেক্ট থাকে কিছু ব্রেস্ট টেন্ডারনেস থাকতে পারে হেডেক মাইগ্রেন হতে পারে তারপরে হচ্ছে মেটাবলিক এফেক্ট বলতে যেগুলো যেগুলো হতে পারে সেগুলো হচ্ছে তোমার ওই অ্যাথ্রোস্কিওটিক পোটেন্সিয়ালটা একটু বেশি হয় আর তেমন কিছু নেই ectopic pregnancy বা return of fertility এগুলো IUD এর থেকে একটু স্মুথ হয় ঠিক আছে আচ্ছা pills are contraindicated যদি কোনো malignancy থাকে breast বা genital ear কোনো severe liver disorder থাকে severe migraine থাকে very high bp থাকে কোনো 
থম্বেম্বলিজমের হিস্ট্রি থাকে বা কার্ডিয়াক অ্যাবনর্মেটের হিস্ট্রি থাকে বা এগুলোই ঠিক আছে এবার হচ্ছে পোস্ট কনসেপশন মেথড মানে অলরেডি ফার্টিলাইজেশন হ্যাজ বিন ডান অলরেডি কনসেপশন ইজ ডান তাহলে যেটা করতে হয় সেটা হচ্ছে ভাইবিলিটি এখনকার রুল অনুযায়ী আপ টু টোয়েন্টি এইট উইকস অব্দি করা যায় তারপরে আর করা যায় না প্রেগনেন্সি ইফ ইস মোর দ্যান টোয়েন্টি এইট উইকস ইট ইস নট পসিবল না মেডিকেল টার্মিনেশন অফ প্রেগনেন্সির জন্য দ্যার ইজ এন এম টিপি অ্যাক্ট অফ নাইনটিন সেভেন্টি ওয়ান যে ক্ষেত্রে কিছু কিছু কন্ডিশনস রয়েছে চারটে গ্রাউন্ড রয়েছে ওয়ান ইজ মেডিকেল ওয়ান ইজ হিউম্যানিটেরিয়ান ওয়ান ইজ ইউজেনিক ওয়ান ইজ সোশো ইকোনমিক and one is failure of contraception medical hoche the continuation of pregnancy where continuation of pregnancy might endanger the mother's life or cause a grave injury to her physical or mental health mane mayer life ba physical mental health will be injured endangered in case of continuation of pregnancy second hoche eugenic child যদি হাই চান্স অফ বিং বর্ন উইথ বিং হ্যান্ডিক্যাপড বা সিরিয়াস ফিজিক্যাল মেন্টাল অ্যাবনর্মালিটিস হিউম্যানিটেরিয়ান হোয়েন দেয়ার ইজ দ্য প্রেগনেন্সি ইজ দ্য রেজাল্ট অফ রেপ অ্যান্ড সোশো ইকোনমিক যখন অ্যাকিউট বা রিজনেবলি এনভায়রনমেন্ট সোশ্যাল ইকোনমিক কন্ডিশন সিরিয়াস ইঞ্জুরি করতে পারে টু দ্য হেলথ অফ দ্য মাদার অ্যান্ড ফেলিয়ার অফ কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ ডিভাইসেস মানে আনওয়ান্টেড প্রেগনেন্সি ঠিক আছে সেটাকে হচ্ছে গ্রেপ মেন্টাল স্ট্রমা দিতে পারে মাকে সেই জন্য এগুলো হচ্ছে কারণ consent can be given by the mother alone father is optional person jara korte pare ekta registered medical practitioner with a certain degree of experience abortion can be done some approved institutions only thik ache ba all government bahan thik ache but approval by board korte qualification lage age koto din she post graduate qualification ache ba house staff shift koreche ops ka nite ha ba tar pore dar মানে আগে সে মেডিকেল কতগুলো টার্মিনেশন করতে পেরেছে আন্ডার সুপারভিশন এটা গেল তোমার অ্যাবর্শন অ্যাবর্শনের পরে যেটা আসছে সেটা হচ্ছে মিসেলেনিয়াস মেথড অফ কন্ট্রাসেপশন এর মধ্যে একটা হচ্ছে অ্যাবস্টিনেন্স মানে না করা একটা হচ্ছে কয়েকটাস ইন্টারাপ্টাস এগুলো পরে পড়বে আর একটা হচ্ছে সেফ মেথড রিদম মেথড আর ন্যাচারাল ফ্যামিলি প্ল্যানিং মেথড সেফ মেথড হচ্ছে ক্যালেন্ডার মেথড এটা হচ্ছে যে একটা ডিউরিং দ্য ওভিউলেটারি সাইকেল ওর মেনস্ট্রুয়ালি সাইকেল একটা ডিউরেশন আছে ডিউরিং হুইচ টাইম দ্য চান্স অফ ডিউরিং হুইচ টাইম দিস ক্যান বি সেট দ্য মোস্ট ফার্টাইল পিরিয়ড সেই পিরিয়ডটা বাদ দিয়ে তার আগে এবং পরে দিনটা কোর্স করা হয় দ্য চান্স অফ প্রেগনেন্সি ইজ মাচ লেস অর নেগলিজিবল ইন কম্পেয়ার টু ডিউরিং দ্য ডিউরিং দ্য ফার্টিলিটি পিরিয়ড ঠিক আছে এখানে বলা হয় জেনারেলি আমরা জানি মেনস্ট্রুয়াল সাইকেল একটা নির্দিষ্ট ডিউরেশনের মধ্যে ভ্যারি করে কিন্তু একদম কুড়ি দিনই হবে একুশ দিনই হবে এরকম তো বলা যাবে কুড়ি পঁচিশ কুড়ি থেকে পঁচিশ এরকম ডেট বলা হয় সো শর্টেস্ট যে সাইকেল আর লংয়েস্ট যে সাইকেল সেটা যদি আমি একটা ক্যালকুলেট করি শর্টেস্ট সাইকেল মাইনাস এইটিন ডেজ লংয়েস্ট সাইকেল মাইনাস টেন ডেজ এই যে দুটো ভ্যালু বেরোবে এই যে দুটো ডেজ এর মধ্যের সময়টা হচ্ছে মোস্ট ফার্টাইল পিরিয়ড তাহলে বাকি সময়টা ধরে তোমাকে করতে হবে বা 
ियड बडी टेम्पारेचार मेथड मेथडेशन रिस्पन्सिमेटलीडी तो क्षेत्र इंस्टीट्यूशन डॉक्टर छप्ताहरा प्रत्येक जिन गाय 
লেভেলে সব লেখা আছে ঠিক আছে কোনো হরমোনাল কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ হলে তাতে কতটা হরমোন আছে যেমন ওষুধে লেখা থাকে সেটাও লেখা আছে যদি কোনো আইউডি হয় সেটার নাম কি সেটা কত গ্রাম কপার আছে সেটাও লেখা আছে সমস্ত কিছু লেখা আছে ঠিক আছে যেমন ধরো এটা তোমাদের এটা যদি স্পটার পরে এখানে লেখা আছে মেড্রক্সি প্রোজেস্টের ইঞ্জেকশন সো দিস ইজ এ ডিএমপি এ মানে এটা একটা ইনজেক্টেবল কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ ডিভাইস ব্যারিয়ার মেথড অফ কন্ট্রাসেপশন লেখাও আছে কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ ইঞ্জেকশন ঠিক আছে লেখা আছে অন্তরা প্রোগ্রাম প্রোগ্রাম তোমাদের পরে পড়ানো হবে তার আন্ডারে এটা দেয়া হয় ঠিক আছে এর মধ্যে এখানে লেখাই রয়েছে যে দেড়শো মিলিগ্রাম মেড্রক্সি প্রোজেস্টের অ্যাসিটেড রয়েছে যেটা আমি তোমাদের পড়িয়েছিলাম ডিএমপি এ সো দিস ইজ এ ডিএমপি ওকে নাও দ্য নেক্সট ওয়ান এখানে রয়েছে দেখো লিভোনর জেস্ট্রেল ট্যাবলেট নিচে লেখা রয়েছে ইজিপি ইজেডুয়াই আমি তোমাদের পড়ানোর পর এখানে বলবো তোমরা এসে দেখে যেও ইজেডুয়াই দিস ইজ এ লিভোনর জেস্ট্রেল পিল যেখানে এটা লেখা রয়েছে যে শুধুমাত্র লিভোনর জেস্ট্রেল আছে মানে দিস ইজ এ প্রোজেস্ট্রেল কন্টেনিং পিল অনলি যে দিস ইজ এ মিনি পিল ওকে গেল মানে এটা একটা গভর্নমেন্ট এর প্রোগ্রাম যখন কাউকে কম্বাইন্ড ওসিপি দেয়া হচ্ছে তার সাথে আয়রন ট্যাবলেটও দেয়া হচ্ছে যেহেতু অ্যানিমিয়া ইজ ভেরি কমন ইন এমং ওমেন বা প্রেগনেন্ট ওমেন ইন ইন্ডিয়া সো দিস ইজ এ কম্বাইন্ড ওসিপি উইথ ফেরাস ট্যাবলেট দুটোই একসাথে আছে এবং এখানে দেখো লিভনার জেস্টেল আছে ফিফটিন মাইক্রোগ্রাম আর থ্রি মাইক্রোগ্রাম মতো আছে তোমার ইথিনাইল ইস্টাডিয়ল তার সঙ্গে আছে সিক্সটি মিলিগ্রাম আয়রন ট্যাবলেট ঠিক আছে সো দিস ইজ মিস মালা এন অর মালা ডি তোমাদের পড়ানো হবে হয়তো জানি না পড়ানো হয়েছে কিনা মালাডি আর মালায়েন দুটো কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ পিল হয় যার মধ্যে আয়রন ট্যাবলেট কমিয়েন থাকে এটা গেল নেক্সট হচ্ছে নিশ্চয় এখানে লেখা আছে র্যাপিড ওয়ান স্টেপ এইচসিজি ইউরিন প্রেগনেন্সি টেস্ট কার্ড মানে কার্ডের মধ্যে এইচসিজি অ্যান্টি এইচসিজি দেয়া আছে যেটা এইচসিজির সঙ্গে যখন প্রেগনেন্সি টেস্ট করে ইউরিন দিয়ে এই সিজিটার সঙ্গে টেস্ট করে পজিটিভ বা যেমন ট্রপটি কিট হয় সেম লাইক দ্যাট ঠিক আছে সেই কিট প্রেগনেন্সি টেস্টিং ইউরিনারি প্রেগনেন্সি টেস্টিং কিট হলো এটা হচ্ছে সহেলি সেন্ট প্রোম্যান দেখো লেখা আছে এটা ফ্রি সাপ্লাই গভর্নমেন্টের সাপ্লাই ছায়া কম্প মানে ব্র্যান্ডটার নাম ছায়া হিসাবে ওরা বের করেছে সরকার এটা হচ্ছে নন স্টেরয়েডাল ওরাল কন্ট্রাসেপটিভ পিলস তার মানে এতে শুধু সেন্ট প্রোম্যান আছে এতে কোনো রকম কোনো লিভনর জেস্টেল বা ইথিনাইল ইস্টাডিয়ল নেই এটা হচ্ছে উইদাউট এনি ইস্ট্রোজেন অর প্রোজেস্টেরন কন্টেনিং ট্যাবলেট শুধু সেন্ট প্রোম্যান আছে হরমোনাল যে সাইড এফেক্টগুলো হয় ওসিপি সেটাকে কমানোর জন্য বাট এর এফেক্টিভিটি অতটা নয় ঠিক আছে এটা তবু দেয়া হয় টোয়াইস এ উইক ফর ফার্স্ট থ্রি মান্থস ওয়ান্স এ উইক ফর আফটার থ্রি মান্থস ঠিক আছে সহেলি এবার হচ্ছে তোমার আইউডি এখানে কয়েকটা আইউডি রয়েছে দুটো ধরনের আইউডি রয়েছে ধরো প্রথম হচ্ছে স্টেরাইল এখানে লেখা আছে কপার আইউসিডি থ্রি সেভেন্টি ফাইভ একটা এক্সপায়ারি ডেট দেয়া থাকবে যেহেতু একটা স্টেরাইল জিনিস কপার আইউসিডি থ্রি সেভেন্টি ফাইভ মানে তিনশো পঁচাত্তর মাইক্রোগ্রাম কপার এই টিপটাতে রয়েছে ঠিক আছে 
এই জায়গাটায় কপারের ওয়্যার দেয়া আছে মানে কপারটা এরকম ভাবে রয়েছে ঠিক আছে এবার এই যে জিনিসটা যখন ইনসার্ট করতে হয় তখন ইনসার্ট করার সময় একটা থ্রেড থাকে এখন তো এটা আমি খুলছি না থ্রেডটাকে থ্রেডটা নিচে ঝোলে জিনিসটা উপরে থাকে থ্রেডটাকে চেক করতে পারা যায় থ্রেডের লেভেলটা যদি এক থাকে সেটা তোমাকে বুঝতে সাহায্য করবে যে কপারটিটা ইজ ইন পজিশন যদি নিচে চলে আসে মানে কপারটিটা বেরিয়ে গেছে অনেক সময় ধরো ভ্যাজাইনার বাইরে চলে এসছে তার মানে কপারটি ইজ নট ইন প্লেস ইট ইজ নট ওয়ার্কিং সেটাও একটা ইমার্জেন্সি সেটাও একটা প্রবলেম সেটা হ্যাজ টু বি পজিশন বা যদি সেটা অনেক ওপরে চলে যায় কোনো কারণে মাসেল কন্ট্রাকশনের ফলে তুমি থ্রেডটা দেখতে পাচ্ছ না সেক্ষেত্রে সেটা যে অ্যাবডোমেনকে পারফরেট করতে পারে সেটা পেলভিসে কোনো ইনফেকশন করতে পারে সো দিস लेखा मन पड़े मन गोटा पड़े तुम्हें तो मैं सम्भव ठीक है